Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr. here, editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Flashback Friday. This week out, we are going to be playing Marble Madness on the NES. If you've never played Marble, Ma uh, Marble Madness, then, then you just died. Um, this game was a complete, complete blast back in the day. Um, ah... The physics that this game used back in the day were totally ahead of its time. I mean, now it almost seems like rudimentary, but um, man, you would not have games like Katamari without this. You would not have um, Super Monkey Ball. I mean, you might not even have Sonic the Hedgehog. A lot of these early 3D games, um, totally, I mean, how do I say this in a nice way? Um, bit off like all of the things that Marble Madness was doing. This game was totally totally ahead of its time. Ah. So again, um you're just rolling your bowl. Sometimes it's a matter of letting ah letting the controller do the work Requ <laughs> requires a fine <laughs> ah! <laughs> a fine touch that I obviously don't have anymore okay now you're going down I mean this was this game was so freaking cool man there you go I love this back in the day um and I stink now, but um, I was actually, I used to be really good at this game. This game is so much more though than just rolling your ball around. The music in this game is actually really solid. So you've got like the rolling of the ball, you've got like the really solid score, you've got a pretty beefy game too. This game had it all. Um, this game, too, is actually memorable for another reason. Um, Don Traeger, the man that um, produced, I'm pretty sure, this version for Tengen, um, kind of used this as a way to build a relationship with Electronic Arts. And uh, I'm pretty sure this was one of the last games that he did for, um, for Tengen. And... Uh, and eventually he would become a founding father of EA Sports. So Marble Madness is a great game. It's a great arcade game. It's a great NES game. Totally, totally, totally flashback to it right now. <laughs> 